everybody, it's Wyatt with Baby Eli, and I've had a lot of requests to open up Shopkins, and today we're going to go shopping for the Shopkins. Baby Eli, you get the coat. Can you get it? Okay, Eli. Baby Eli, do you want to pick things out? Looks like you got Catboy. Oh, there's Shopkins. We can buy those. Do you want them? Go with another coat. Ah, uh, boom! Uh, how about... Do you want the pilot? Captain Hook? Look, pilot. Oh, he thinks it's tasty. And my mom did a hundred layers of nail polish on this My Little Pony toy. Let's buy that. We're getting a lot of toys. We should get a PJ Masks toy. Yeah, boy. And, ooh, more Shopkins. And more Shopkins. Okay, Eli, time to check out. And let's see what Shopkins we got. I'll open up the season pies first. Whoa! I haven't opened Shopkins in a while. Oh, baby Eli wants Captain Hook. We can open that up. Oh, and I almost got it. It's something pink with a stripe. I think it's a lawnmower. Look, a lawnmower. Wow, we can cut the grass right now. Let's look at this piano. There's Dollop, Chili Chilo, and Lollipop in. I think baby Eli likes Dollops the most. But you're not old enough to really be playing with them. The piano is pretty cool too. What is this? What? Wow, this one is really cool and we don't have it. Baby Eli wants to open this up. This does not look like anything like him in the movie. We got this basket of Shopkins with licorice whip in it. Oh, look at Eli. Oh. Maybe he doesn't want toys after all. Wow, these Shopkins are really cool. Well, if you want more videos with Shopkins, please click like. And also, write down in the comment section what was your favorite toy we bought. Goodbye. Here is a fun and easy recipe for Halloween treats made out of Rice Krispie squares. They're turned into little mummies. This is a super easy project, a super easy recipe with just a few ingredients. I'll show you how to make them. The ingredients for our Rice Krispie mummies are right here. Rice Krispies, marshmallows and butter to make up our Rice Krispie squares, and white chocolate chips to complete our mummies. I'm going to mix together a small amount of black frosting for the eyes, and that'll be it. The first step is to make the Rice Krispie Treats. We need three tablespoons of butter, six cups of Rice Krispies or any kind of rice cereal, and five cups of mini marshmallows or a 10 ounce bag of large. First we'll put some butter in the pan. So it's all ready to go as soon as our Rice Krispies are ready to pour in. I decided to butter my pan quite heavily because I want my squares to come out easily and straight and not stick to the side of the pan. 
Next, we'll take our Rice Krispies and marshmallows over to the stove. First, we will melt our three tablespoons of butter. And then we will add our marshmallows. Five cups. We're going to cook that on very low heat so we don't burn the sugar. Coat the marshmallows in the butter and just heat them until they start to melt. When I make regular Rice Krispie treats just to eat, I put in extra marshmallows and reduce the Rice Krispies because I like them to be gooey and stringy and loose in the pan. But I'm going to follow the directions because I want the mummies to be a little more compact. They're melting nicely, so I'm going to turn the heat off completely and just keep them in a hot pan. Okay, let's add our cereal. add a little bit more cereal. It would be more difficult to add a little bit more marshmallow. Fold it until the marshmallows are coating all of the cereal. The recipe for Rice Krispie Treats are on almost all boxes of Kellogg's Rice Krispies and most packages of Kraft Marshmallows. But in case you're buying generic as I did today, that's six cups of Rice Krispies, five cups of mini marshmallows, or a 10 ounce bag of regular marshmallows, and three tablespoons of butter with a little bit of butter to spread in the pan. Here we go. All right, we're going to let our Rice Krispie Treats cool down for a few minutes before cutting them. My Rice Krispie Treats are cooled and I've cut them into rectangles and turned them upside down because I'm going to use the flat side to decorate the mummy. Now I'm melting a little bit of the white chocolate chips in a saucepan on the stove to drizzle over the top. While my chips are melting, I'm going to add some eyes to my mummies. I put some black frosting in a little Ziploc bag and cut the tip off so I can just add a little bit of black frosting for eyes. You can also buy little tubes of frosting in the baking aisle at the grocery store and just squeeze out a little black frosting or icing that way. You could also use raisins. Use a pair of scissors to cut a raisin into four pieces and use those for eyes. Red Hots would be cute too. My white chocolate chips are melted, so I'm going to have to work quickly now to get this uh, squeezed out over my mummies before it firms up again. 
I put my melted white chocolate chips in a small Ziploc bag. I'm gonna cut the tip off of that and drizzle it over my Rice Krispie treats like the wrappings of a mummy. What a fun and easy way to make Halloween treats. Take to school, take to a Halloween party, or just to make it home with your kids or grandkids. Check my channel for more fun Halloween decorations, easy and inexpensive projects to do at home. Thanks for watching Grandma's Toys.